Welcome back to our continuing development diary series on The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. Today our artists will be talking about some of the new content for the new title. We really value our fans' opinions, and, and they were the reason we decided to expand Chapter 3 a bit, which now features two brand new complete quests. One of the new quests is Lilies and Vipers, a quest explaining what happened with Anais and Bussy, Fortes' children, before the Act 3. Geralt will have to solve the mystery behind their disappearance. In Lilies and Vipers, we meet Brigitte Papabrock, a lady-in-waiting in Foltest's court, who was recruited by Vernon Roach to do some uh, uh, investigative work. We knew that she was supposed to look like a rich, liberated nobleswoman who doesn't hesitate to use her assets to conquer hearts of influential people on the royal court. Her mission was to seduce the two most powerful Temerian nobles while keeping an eye on Foltest's bastard children who, as, as Roach rightly assumed, became the target of all kinds of schemes after the king's death. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? Baron Kimbolt was supposed to look like an old war veteran, but despite his 65 years, uh, we wanted him to make an impression of a strong and fit man, dominant over the surrounding people. He puts great faith in the old world, uh, namely the North, and at the same time he positively despises Nilfgaard. And it's, it's this hatred that prompts him to take shortcuts where his values are concerned. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? Count Maravel is Kimbolt's opposite in many respects. He's around 40 years old, was always on the chubby side of things, so he never had any chivalrous or, or knightly pretensions. He spent a lot of time in the library, stuck to his books, and that led him to conclude that the North was very backward. Would you say you resemble your countrymen? I thank the gods I do not. It is because I love my homeland that I am the first to note its faults, and they are many. Care to elaborate? The hypocrisy, superstition, lack of learning. Need I go on? A second quest is also placed in Loch Muin, an ancient uh, city full of mysterious ruins and dungeons. That was a great opportunity to create a quest that would remind adventurers of famous character Indiana Jones. The Secrets of Loch Muin, on the other hand, delves more into the realms of magic and alchemy. The Witcher is reunited with uh, Cynthia, a sorceress with whom he has uh, quite a beef. If he can overcome that, she leads him straight to the laboratory of the mysterious Derhenna. Uh, a mage who allegedly discovered the secret of the downfall of the ancient Vran civilization. Witcher, help me complete my mission. Help me open Der Henna's laboratory. In the enhanced edition of the game, we will be delivering a couple of new locations. And you have to believe me that they will be something totally refreshing because creating new places, new locations after the core game has been already delivered, after we create our technology, is a brand new experience for all level artists. One of the locations lies underneath the ancient city of Loch Muin, uh, in the passageway in Surge that runs underneath the city. Uh, it was really great fun creating these old collapsed hallways and chambers, you know, with hidden statues uh, with light shaft coming down on them. It's, it's barely held together and really feel this heavy weight on top of it. Um, you know, it just feels like it's about to collapse and it's really great claustrophobic feeling. The second new location introduced in Witcher 2 Enhanced Edition is this lush forest next to Loch Muin. It's a really beautiful location, but on the other hand it's also very dangerous. If you played The Witcher 2 and you've already visited Act 3, at this moment you're probably wondering, okay, where is this forest? And that's actually something I can't tell you at this stage, but I'm sure you'll find out while you play through the game again. Besides adding new locations to enhanced edition of The Witcher 2, we're also upgrading some old ones, um, for instance Loch Muin in Act 3. Um, depending on your choices, you can either see a very dark version of Loch Muin, or you can see a very, well, let's say, a more positive version of Loch Muin. And uh, I don't want to spoil the surprise for anyone, but it's, it's really, really impressive. <laughs> 